Elmond Vastel, Duke of House Vastel, was always said to be an eccentric, an artifact collector with an interest in shaper culture. He was patron of many excavations in Iskander, the last one performed right below his own castle. With his lands left deserted, the caverns below the fortress are as enigmatic as they are dangerous. Isamo Tahar could not have picked a better hiding spot. This is just the beginning. No! Um, take care of your sister, the mage. I think this... Remove... the barracks. Memories float through their halls like fireflies in a misty swamp. While some of them are pleasant, most of them are not. Save for your friend Bertrand, your comrades shunned you, and your promotion into the ranks of the Wolf Guard did not make things any better. Can you blame them? After all, you are the child of Isamo Tahar, the man they have- Hey, hey, Tahar, wait, wake up! What in blazes is wrong with you? Bertrand. Uh, Let me think. <sighs> yes. Hmm. Look, I know I've said this before, but you did the right thing back then. Your father... I know, Bertrand. That's what I'm here for. For what it's worth, at least. Magic is... And the new laws are just that. A rule set, plain and simple. 
No need to convince me, Bertrand. Good. And I... Corporal Tahar? I... Uh, I'm sorry. What is it? Lord Marshal Langar and... What's it about? I'm not in a position... All right, then. Sure. Thank you, boy. Of course. Corporal Tahar? You should put some clothes on for... Oh, really? Thanks for reminding me. What do we need?
Ready? Then let's go. Interesting. No city of Nortander evokes as much awe as Greyfell and its guardian keep, the seat of the crown. Built into the Hibernian ruins that once crowned King's Mountain, its walls and towers were made to withstand every foe and army, from the great orcish horde to a swarm of dragons. It was here that the mage wars came to an end, after an unknown rebel warned the- Ah, oh, finally, some fresh air. Come on, Tahar. Let's head to the North Tower. Chop, chop, man. Let's get to work. Yes. <sighs> Quite the view, isn't it? doesn't get old. Still hard to believe that some thousand years ago, somebody actually built this place. <laughs> there she goes. No more magic for you. Now let's move on. Sure. Yes? Who are you? Just two soldiers. We saw the branding. Hmm. What do you want? Could you tell me more about the purity of light? About your faith? Oh. You're a seeker. Maybe. Interesting. Well, I will do my best to answer your questions. What's your problem with mages? We don't have a problem with mages. We have a problem... What's the difference? Well, a mage is someone who has the ability to tap into the power the Allfather Aeonir used to create the universe. It's a burden, and we are well aware of how some mages suffer. But that's what defilers do. They have no humility. They recklessly indulge in their magic and use it for their own purposes. Asamo Tahar is the best example. He showed the world how foul and dangerous uncontrolled magic can be. What about battle mages? There are mages in the royal army. Well, technically they are defilers too, but they are a necessary evil, so to speak. Mages are powerful, and in order to keep Nortander safe from them, they might be needed. It sounds paradoxical, I know, but it's the truth. Can't magic also be used for good? It's not about good or bad, it's about humility. Man was never meant to use magic. So yes, magic can heal as much as it can kill, but that does not change that we are not allowed to meddle with it. We are not gods, soldier, we are men, and until we know our place again, Aeonir will not... This woman, what does she do? That one? She was one of Asamo Tahar's rebels. They hid in wind walls. She summoned a beast that tore apart 13 soldiers before they finally pinned her down. It's good that... Do you have some kind of leader? Your movement originate... Movement. I don't think you quite understand who we are, soldier. But regarding your first question, yes, we do. Harbinger of Light, or Rondar Lacane, as his worldly name is known. He is out of the city at the moment, but if you want a chance to hear... What exactly do you believe in? I've been told the purity of light. Renounce? No. 
The Guardians, as well as the Renegade Gods, are Aeonir's create. What do you mean by they? Well, they were only temporary to begin with. Aeonir created them to tend to our world as long as mankind is corrupted. But now he wants. Aeonir wants to return? Yes, Aeonir will return to this world. Twelve moons ago, the Harbinger of Light, our leader, had visions where the All Father himself. He will reveal himself to us and will make this world one of freedom, peace, and equality again. And how exactly will he do this? It's not like there's no reason our world is the way it is. It's a god we are talking about. Not a guardian, but a true god. The only god, the creator. You're making the mistake I made. Hmm. And why hasn't he returned? Well, that's the reason we're here. Aeonir also told the Harbinger something else. Here? Yes. Free of the wrong faith. Free of defilers. That's our mission. And hmm. Interesting. That's one word for it. Well, thanks for your- Certainly. Aeonir's light guide your path, soldier. Now would Look you... at that, the Sergeant Esme. Always so stern. What do you need? Some early morning practice? <laughs> Why not? What do you think, Tahar? Well, I guess I could do with some practice. Good. Then get in the ring. Yes. Brandon, roll come here. You over there? But they're wolf guard. Come Time for you to get some real practice. Get in the ring. As you command. Agon, isn't she? All right, lads, here we go again. Show the corporal what you're made of. All right, Corp. See to those wounds. The sergeant. Favor. No, 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 no. It's fire! Good work. Here. I've heard talk about a new mission and something to. A friendly gesture. I almost forgot how that felt. Don't be so dramatic. So, what do you say? Tired already? Uh, what do you think, Tar? Yeah, why not? I could use some more. Great. Let's make it more of a challenge this time. Get in the ring when you're ready. You there! Yes! I am. And just when did we become your recruits? Aunt. Oh. Look, we don't... But... On your mark, oh. and... Fight! Yeah! 
trying to do for heck's sake? Get yourself killed? This is practice and to hard beat you. You might not be my unit, but this is my ring. Get out of there! This isn't over, Tahar. I swear it. One, two, one, two. That's it, lads. Keep at it. Blazes. That guy fought as if he wanted to kill you. Aren't you Wolfguard soldier? We are. I had no idea what got into him. Maybe, uh, nonsense. What is it? Just a stupid thought. Forget about him. Bertrand, tell me. <sighs> no idea how much you remember from that night when we freed you, but as I told you, judging by the look on Anselm's face, he hates your guts. So, maybe... You think he's blaming me for her death? I don't know, maybe. That's stupid. You're telling me. But anyway, it, it's just an assumption. I might... Anyway... Here, you should take this as an apology. It was a stupid idea to have you fight each other. I'd suggest another round, but I suppose you've had enough by now. And the Lord Marshal's waiting for you. Who do we fight? Well, to be honest, I don't think there's much point in having you beat more recruits. But seeing you fight has reminded me that lately, I haven't had a lot of practice neither. You want to fight us? I. Two versus one? You don't count, Bertrand. <laughs> Very funny. Come on, let's not overthink this. Let's get in the ring. Good. Then let's dance. On me. This would have gone down differently some years ago. That's what they all say. Sod off, Carpal. Jokes aside, thanks for the practice. That was a damn good fight. <laughs> Let's just hope seeing their sergeant in the dust like this doesn't make the recruits act all cocky again. Well, if it does, you'll be there to show them their place. I guess. Anyway, you should go see the marshal now. Good luck, you two. Stay safe. You're dodging, not candy! Few people know the story behind the impressive hall, with its gilded pillars and domed roof. It was constructed in 6542 by King Arif Eilith as a monument. This isn't the Hall of War. You know that, don't you? No, Bertrand, I forgot. But I want to see this trial you were talking about. Ah, uh, well, it's probably already started. Well, let's go take a look. Silence will not change anything. I hope you realize that. The silence of a defiler. I do not understand why she has not simply- What do you want me to say? Because- You're right. You have- Story you like- As much as- Area of- Carried out by- Hmm. Huh. 
That's tough. Will do. What do you make of this? I don't know. Who's that woman? The older one. You don't know? Bart, that was a mom. She seemed to... Yeah, no wonder. She's one of the most fervent followers. House Leonider was one of the greatest armies in Northander. But let's go, shall we? I wouldn't want to keep the Lord Marshal waiting any longer. Now would you look at that? No city of Northander evokes as much awe as Greyfell and its guardian keep, the seat of the crown. Built into the Hibernian ruins that once crowned King's Mountain, its walls and towers were made to withstand every foe and... Pray tell. Of course. One, two, one, two. That's it, lads. Keep at it. In the midst of the keep, like a lithic giant challenging the sky, stands the Grey Tower. Though not the highest of towers, it is no doubt the most important. You know, Tahar, there's something I've been wondering about lately. What? All this, the army, the wolf guard, the crown. Does it fulfill you? What do you mean? I... Uh, it just... never mind. <laughs> it, it doesn't matter. Hmm. Okay. All right, here we go. Ready to go in? You sound nervous. Nervous? <laughs> uh, no. I just... never mind. Come on, let's go in. The Hall of War is not only where most of Northander politics are conducted, but also where emissaries and diplomats from other empires are first received when visiting... Orders? dismissed. But all we need is more time. The cure is within reach, and we... You've had your time. And what did you achieve? Nothing. People are dying as we speak. And if we do not stop this plague right now, it'll wipe out all of Greyfell next. Once you've found a cure, fine. We will use it. But for now, this is the only way. I... understand, Lord Marshal. Forgive me for my failure. Dismissed. Lord Marshal, General Noria. We did. Yes. What do you know? I'm not sure what you mean, sir. So, the blood burn is for almost a problem is, we are nowhere near a solution. Hmm. Absolutely. It corrupts it. We don't know what the blood form after that. Tiara's prep. Indeed. Any idea what causes it? Well, that's the thing. Some things... At random? Well, not in... The infected with... Noises? Yes. A curse. A curse? We have to find a way to... Thus, we... Together with a small div- I understand. We'll see when we get there. What's my role in this? What kind of question is that? You're a member of the Wolf Guard, and this is a royal mission. And- If the Bloodburn is deadly, how do we protect ourselves when we get into the contaminated territory? Again, we haven't understood the Bloodburn's distribution pattern yet. So there's a chance it'll not affect- Supposed to protect- Well- Understood. Tomorrow at first light. Anything else, Lord Mark? No. Just- We will. In the midst of the keep, like a lithic giant challenging the sky, stands the Grey Tower. Though not the highest of towers, it is no doubt the most important. Pray tell. Let's see. Are you Albertus de Reims? Depends on who- Corporal Carpel and- Ah, 
So that's you. And it works? Of course it works. No, that was all. Thank you. Understood. No city of Nortander evokes as much awe as Greyfell and its guardian keep, the seat of the crown. Built into the Hibernian ruins that once crowned King's Mountain, its walls and towers were made to withstand every... Yes? Dodging, not candy again. You look there you are. Ready? We are. Good. So tell me, Tahar, is it just me or has the general changed? Now that came out of nowhere. I mean, back when I joined the Wolf Guard, he was so different, passionate about our cause. But now, I don't know. Well, the war did take its toll. Wide swathes of green, fertile soil, lakes and rivers rich in fish. The people of Leonon, a small village in the meadowlands of Leonidar, have long led a peaceful life. Now the tides have turned. According to word of mouth, the village has been struck by the blood burn. 
It is your mission to ascertain these rumors' veracity and act accordingly. All I'm saying is that I just don't understand why people always act that way. I mean, I... Quiet. We're here. This is Leonon? Huh. Looks pretty serene. Still. What about our troops? Should we wait for them to catch up? No. Our first task is to assess the situation anyway. How bad is it and how many are infected? Once we have a clearer picture, we'll act accordingly. Meaning? We'll see. What do we need? Ah! You don't know who you're messing with. Interesting. Acknowledged. Corpses. Was that the blood burn? We'll see. And if that's the case, let's hope the potions will protect us. What's this? Hmm. Looks like an old trading post. I guess it got overrun by rebels during the Mage Wars. We might actually use it as an outpost if we need help from our troops. Speaking of troops, where's the rest of the Wolf Guard? Didn't you say we'd meet up with them near the King's Forest? Yes, but they're still up north taking care of some rebels. They should arrive soon, though. Let's see. Hmm. 
Now would you look at that? Interesting. Let's see. Yes. What's next? Ready. What is it? Orders. Hmm? Orders? What the? Elves? Salangar, who are you? And what by Ellen's reigns are you doing here? Sentenza Noria, General Wolf. So do I. Of course. Will do. Onwards. The Wolf Guard. Huh. What are you doing here? It is, and we are aware of that. 
but I'm afraid re- Spare me the verbiage. What's the meaning of- As you might know, this village has been struck by the Bloodburn. We are here to... investigate. What about the corpses? We found what looked like villagers with arrows in their backs. Bandits, not villagers. They were near the village when we got here, and we... took care of them. Since when, exactly? You've built quite an outpost. Since a source informed us that there would be an outbreak, which was three weeks ago. You knew there'd be an outbreak? Yes. Well, investigating is also what we're here for. Maybe we could join forces. I appreciate the notion, but I'm afraid this won't be possible. Why? Because I know what you came here to do. And it's a mistake. What we... what do you mean? All right, that's enough. We're here by order of the Queen, and a... You're not. What? The White Mist Treaty was struck between the Moorhair Scryers and Queen Aeolith. You are acting under the orders of Lord Marshal Arendir, to whom we have sworn no loyalty. Or, should I say, Lord Anger and those mage-slaughtering purity fanatics who are really making the laws of your country now. The purity has nothing to do with this. We are here to prevent the Bloodburn from spreading. Well, we will take care of that. Now leave, or I will make you. Was that a threat? It was. You have five minutes to get back to where you- Back to the trading post, now! Bloodburn. How come we never heard about this until now? Because the Crown wanted to avoid a panic. Though it's too late for that now. Word is spreading rapidly and those purity lunatics are using it to their advantage. I guess you don't like them. No. And I think Erendir's way of handling them is dangerous. Hmm. Our troops got up. Good. General Noria. Y you what's the matter? Is something wrong? Look up ahead and you'll see. We have unwanted company. Where's the rest of you? At the crossroads, sir. Waiting for your word. Good. Then send them in. The elves won't let us into the village, so we'll force them to. If we do it right, they won't stand a chance. Ansem, you'll help me develop a strategy. Corporal Tahar, you will oversee the setting up of the outpost. What's your name? Uh, Seamark, sir. Gerald Seamark. And you grew up here, right? That is correct, sir. Good. Then you know the area. Now, let's get started. If these damned more here want blood, they shall have it. <laughs> 